Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, ah, I'm out at Spider MX. It's been a minute since I've been here and to be honest, this track always terrifies me. So hopefully you guys can enjoy and see the, the lay of the land here, but I'm gonna go out there and head out for our first session. Track's probably a little bit soft. It's been raining for the past couple days, but hoping for the best. So I'm gonna quit yapping and we're just gonna head on the track and see how this goes. Here we go. a different mount for my watch here not sure if it's going to work out because i wanted to try a different bar setup these are actually what the bike came with but anyways you guys don't care about that let's just get out on the track and see how this goes so this is the main track so the main track is over here over there that's an indoor like pit bike track and then there's a turn track as well maybe we'll send some laps on that later So, that was about the saddest session of my entire life. <laughs> uh, I don't think that I've ever actually ridden in something that wet or that soft. So trying to figure out how to maintain upright body position, stay perpendicular to the bike, keep the feet on the pegs even though I feel like dabbing them, and just kind of committing, carrying more speed. Those are all the things that hopefully I'll be able to do in the next session. But normally this track isn't that soupy and it's actually quite a lot of fun. So maybe we'll jump the tables here, all of them in this next session. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Real quick, <clears throat> I don't think that I completed like a full connected lap more than once or twice. So I doubt I got much data, but let's see if we have a lap to reference off of. So we only had two laps. Lap one was an astonishing three minutes, 32 seconds. Lap two was a blistering two minutes, 51 seconds. Absolute trash, but we're gonna hop back on the bike and see if we can put together at least five laps. That's our goal. <laughs>
Get that inside rut. I don't know how many laps we did, I'll find out in a second, but I felt better. Ah, my hair is so gross today. It's gross every time I ride. Anyways, I still maintain the title for slowest man alive, but I felt like I was able to, at least in a couple sections, navigate the rut sort of okay. Not the best, I understand. Not out here being like Jet Lawrence, Chase Sexton, all those fast guys with their impeccable technique. But that's actually something that I've been trying to emulate. They do this one thing so well, they do everything so well, but one thing in particular, the retraction of the shoulder blades. I notice a lot of the guys, they'd smoke me any day of the week, but a lot of the like lower class A guys, halfway through the session, you'll see them start rounding their shoulders forward everywhere. But when I watch Jet, Hunter, Chase, those guys, they're always keeping their head in a nice neutral position. And it's that slight retraction of the shoulder blades. So they're rolling their shoulders back, engaging all the muscles you have back there, rather than blowing out all of your arms and shoulders. So something that I try to think about when I'm like, okay, pull your shoulders back. Don't just put your head forward and start hunching over. Pinch your shoulders, pull it back. I don't know, stuff I'm working on. So it was a pitiful three recorded laps, but at least we got some lap times and they're within five seconds or so from each other. So let's check it out. So lap one, we got a 231.40. 2.32. And then our last lap was our heater with an astonishing 2.26. Obviously these are nothing to brag about or go by in terms of all you fast guys, but I at least have a reference, so the next time I go out there, I'll know if I was going faster or slower. Easiest answer is to hit the last tabletop, the biggest one, the third in that sequence that I haven't hit yet. I've hit it a few times when it's on more like dry day, but then I was still pretty scared of bigger jumps like that. Still am today, honestly. And it's at an angle, so you kind of have to not like throw a huge whip, but you're slightly turning as you're hitting that jump. So it just scares me. Maybe we'll hit it, maybe we won't. Let's find out. Definitely need to dial in these ruts. Gotta do everything better, so here we go. Another thing that I know that I can try and focus on, something that helps with mitigate some of that arm pump and holding onto the bike with your knees, not all your hands and such, is working on the rider triangle. So it's something that I've had the opportunity to take a look at the way that 
somebody like Jet Lawrence's bike is set up and the way that he has his levers, and I'm sure a lot of you other guys out there do as well, is he literally has to have his hand on the bar like this in order to grab his levers, which he's doing it very intentionally. So most of us newbie guys, including myself, we want to hold straight like this, but that's going to do nothing but create arm pump. Whereas if you can cant it, kind of do it just a little bit like that, alleviate some of your arm pump. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's starting to rain, so try to get this moto in before we lose the track entirely. Gosh dang it, ah, as I ended that session, I noticed that I didn't start my stopwatch. Oh well, I'll go back in maybe and time it to GoPro and stopwatch it that way. But regardless of how fast I went, I started to feel a little bit more of a flow. Tricky part for me on this track is that I'm in between third and fourth all the time. And I just don't know which one's right. Sometimes fourth is right, sometimes third is right. I have no regard for my valves and engine, whatever. I could ring it out all the time in third, but we ain't trying to win nothing today. We're just trying to survive. But I noticed there was like two moments of like a light bulb went off. I kind of like got, for me, super, excited going into a corner and I didn't grab my brake at all and as I was going in I was like oh no oh no I'm gonna crash and then I realized oh that rut's gonna hold 
this is how you go fast. I'm just scared and I don't do what I'm supposed to. So, anyways, I'm gonna cool off and then I probably have one more moto in for me today. And maybe I'll get some lap times in this last one.
slow Ryan, survived. We didn't go down, almost did, a couple times. But made some improvements throughout the day. That's all I can always ask for. And once again, it was a safe day. So we lived to see another day of slow motos. If there's a track that's in Central Florida area or within not too far of that, that I haven't been to yet, and you guys would like to see a video, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Be happy to check it out. Can't promise anything fast and stunning, but I'll at least give it a, a thorough review for a slow guy like me. That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.